one of the key issues in Nigeria is its economy. And considering how critical the economy is to overall sectors of its sphere, the Central Securities Clearing Systems PLC hosted the first annual economic outlook for 2015, which brought together key players in the financial market and economy. In his welcome address, the CEO of CSCS PLC, Mr. Kiari Booker, described it as an event that will create the avenue for key stakeholders to discuss, analyze, and also bring key point solutions to moving the Nigerian economy forward. Um, for you to have a strategy, you have to actually look at what's coming and then project that out and then make your choices. And with those assumptions you have, once you have your plan in place, you then put your head down and move on. Of course, periodically you have to assess where things are. In his presentation, notable financial analyst and CEO of Financial Derivatives, Mr. Bismarck Rwani, who was focusing on the markets, regional, local and international, gave an insight to the situations and dynamics of what is happening globally and also how it's affecting Nigeria. There are some parts of the country which are still in the 17th century, while some parts of the country are in the 22nd century. That, that unnatural uh, coexistence has a way of really making sure that we don't optimize our resources. Dr. Ayo Teriba, a notable economist also in Nigeria and CEO of Economic Associates, gave his insight to the Nigerian macroeconomic outlook. Global market, um, transaction shocks, portfolio shocks, uh, started out in the year being positive, ended in the second half of the year being negative. Now, there are times when their paths will diverge, you know. Divergent paths means a different thing for the macro environment. Convergent paths, as we now have it, um, means a different thing for the environment. The convergence could be both could be positive or both could be negative. Right now, we are dealing with the situation where both the transaction shocks and the portfolio shocks are negative. Then domestic responses, you know, to such a situation. Um, going through, you know, what's happening to financial assets, what's happening to financial prices, what's happening to real activity, as in, you know, growth, uh, sectoral sizes, spending and inflation. And then the remarks had already made about needing to understand changes that are happening in sectoral balance sheets. Nigerian cerebral economic scholar, Dr. Doin Salami of the Lagos Business School, gave a brief on Nigerian governing policies and how it's affecting the economy even as we are ahead to the election period. It's about an elite consensus about what Nigeria needs in order to continue to be a thriving and progressive country. So that's my own first fundamental challenge. Highlight of the event was a critical discourse that engaged Mr. Fulusha Phillips, Chairman of the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, Mr. Bolaji Balogun, who moderated the event, and CEO of Chapel Downhill, and also Dr. Ayo Teriba, CEO of Economic Associates, and Dr. Doin Salami of the Lagos Business School. The markets currently only help you manage liquidity, not risk. And until our markets broaden, deepen with products that help risk management, then it places pressures on other markets. A lot of people look now and say, okay, currency, currency, everybody is headed for currency. And because that's presumed to be the only hedge against the risks that currently are in the environment. The model we need to encourage is that of um, where a GE, many GEs will turn up with a billion or two billion dollars to invest in particular aspects of the economy, knowing that it is something that's going to work for them and is of value to society as well. And we need more of it. All the Dangote uh, initiatives have not been PPP. He's gone in on his own, you know, quite, quite clear-headed about it, very aggressively confident about it, and he's just got on with it. And I'm saying there are many more who should be able to have 
the confidence to do so for as long as the government is not seen as a threat. Mr. Kiaribuka speaks further on the essence of hosting this forum and the value it will bring to Nigeria's economy. This is, uh, we had during our last strategic um, management retreat, um, invited um, one of the panelists to give us a picture of what is to come. And um, even though this happened uh, very uh, towards the early part of last quarter, uh, we the the amount of information and analysis that were that was given was so profound that we felt uh, we need to share it with the greater community, both the uh, you know the capital markets community as well as friends uh, and customers uh, of CSCS. So that was really the thing that struck us as a key uh, contribution of CSCS. For Mr. Fulusha Phillips, it's a welcome development and believes that at this phase, Nigeria's economy needs more direction and it is critical for all stakeholders to discuss, engage and also find clear point solutions. We need to appreciate the fact that things are changing and we are looking at a much more private sector driven economy. We've got to also appreciate the fact that a lot of what has happened has been external and very very um, very normal in a, in a commodity-based economy like Nigeria, uh, which Nigeria has. The oil prices are global issues, it's a global issue, and uh, what we're suffering from is what I call collateral damage. This has been a great forum and it's a new and welcome development from the CSCS. Having three notable analysts and scholars on the economic and the financial markets, Mr. Bismarck Rewani, Dr. Yoteriba, and Dr. Doyin Salami, was wonderful. But one key point to take home, even as we head two weeks to the election, is that there's a need for an elite consensus on how we can move the nation's economy forward. And we believe that through this discourse, we can engage further and see Nigeria steer through whatever challenges it's facing at the moment.